Attention! School! Stand at ease! Squad! Attention! Squad! More time!
action. Cross. School song begin. School, Mr. Kim Noble, Manager and Correspondent, Mrs. Maureen Oja, Headmaster, Mr. Ajoy Biswas, Teachers, Well-wishers, and my dear friends. I, Asma, of Standard 10A, am delighted and honored to host this very special assembly. We will open our special day with the school prayer by our head boy, Faizin Shezan of Standard 10A. That's for the school prayer. Heavenly Father, Creator of the universe, Sustainer of the world, Provider of all good gifts, and Giver of life, accept our praise and worship. Grant me the serenity to accept the daily task, the wisdom to work, the courage to stand up to truth, the obedience and the faith, the and the faith. To, please to please Thee at all times. Amen. Scripture reading by Deepsha of Standard 10b. Today's scripture reading. Today's scripture reading. Today's scripture reading is taken from the book of Psalm, Psalm 100 verses 1, 2 and 4. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all the land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with, sing, with singing. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Here ends the scripture reading. A special prayer by Nikita of Standard 10 B for our success in ICSE examination 2018-2019. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with humble hearts and with gratitude for all the wonders and blessings you have shared upon us. We pray that you help us to pass these examinations. Thank you for your guidance in leading us to this study on and for sustaining us. As we work for, for this qualification, we ask now that your spirit would lead us. Come sharpen our thinking and help us to excel in the test of our learning and understanding. May we be able to recall everything we need from our studies and answer each question well. As we leave our school, let peace be found here. Let the rooms be full, full of happiness. Let love abide here. Love for one another and love for God. Let us all remember that as many hands build a school, so many hearts make a school. 
Our school reporter Mariam Fatima of Standard 10K will now update us on the current news headlines. Good morning everyone. Tunbridge News. Times action, comedy and thriller. Tunbridge offers opportunities to the actors in school to showcase their talents through mad acts and taboo from the year 2018-19 onwards. Times equal opportunities. Interhouse table tennis matches for girls and interhouse badminton matches for boys were held for the first time in Tunbridge this year. Times future champion. The athletes at Tunbridge High School get the golden opportunity to run 1,500 meters from this year to prove themselves as future athletes. Nevertheless, we already have one. Namirun Nisa of 5A, the future athlete. Times Farewell, a valedictory ceremony for the year 2018-19 will be held on Saturday, 9th Feb of 2019 at St. Andrew's Church. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Tunbridge High School is going to provide its students with a BMTC bus from the academic year 2019-2020. Times Social Media, the latest videos of Dan Utsa, that is the joy of giving and the nursery day are freshly uploaded on the Tunbridge YouTube channel. Times Leadership, the interim head girl for the academic year 2019-2020 won by a narrow mark among tough contenders. Times Topper, our outgoing head boy Faizi Shezan has contributed the highest number of points to his house, thereby holding the first position in the top 100 list. Thought for the day. Success is where opportunity and preparation meet. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, Maria. Our Tunbridge Choir will now sing a very special song.
badges and office bearers' advice and handing over their badges to student representative of Farid Nai, Nurain Kosa, who will give it to our principal. We first have our head prefects, Jashwat Kumar Naidu and Shahira Bey. Good morning to one and all present here, my Honourable Principal, dear Headmaster, teachers, staff members and all students. Greetings to you all on our farewell assembly. Though I joined Tunbridge last year, none is a stranger to me here. As a sports captain, as a sports person, the best way to do well in sports is to, is to believe in yourself, work hard and devote your time, time for sports. sports. Asma will now hand over a batch. Some people come into our lives and quickly go. Some stay for a while and leave footprints on our hearts. And we are never ever the same. Good morning. The confidence and courage that is built in me today is because of the wonderful teachers who have been a part of my journey. 
You are the reason why I'm standing here today. Thank you, teachers. A little advice to my juniors. No one is perfect. Perfection is not attainable. But if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. Work hard, be kind, and amazing things will happen. I know that luck has a way of happening to people who aim high, who never sell themselves short. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. I leave you with these lines. Every prayer that we have prayed, every song we have sung, all the things we have learned, all the memories that we have made, all the laughter and the fun. Thank you for all the joy you bring. May we walk with as each new day begins, this day and forever. Thank you and I love you all. Head boy Tunbridge High School, Faizeen Shezan, will now hand over the school flag and his badge. Good morning. It's a great honor to me to stand before you to express my emotions and my gratitude of being the head boy of Cambridge High School. Firstly, I would like to thank God for His grace and each and every one of you, including our former principal, Mr. Maureen Ma'am, our present principal, Mr. Kim Noble, and our headmaster, who is also known as our basketball master, <laughs> and all our teachers and our friends who had faith in me to inculcate such capabilities that I felt confident to serve my responsibilities as a head boy of Tunbridge High School. And I wish everybody here all the very best for the coming years and I'm sure of their achievements and their successes. I also like to wish the upcoming leaders all the very best for their next academic year. But as our principal sir used to say, leaders are not those who just hold batches for themselves. But leaders are those who grab opportunities and show that they are responsible as the leaders are actually. So I leave you with this quote. High school is a place where a child turns into a person he actually is. I have great memories, both good and bad. Some memories which gave me a life lesson and some which I'll carry throughout my life. So. I request all the upcoming leaders and all the students of Tunbridge High School to work hard, be kind and achieve their goals. So thank you everyone. Ten, now it's my turn to say goodbye to you. Interim House Captains, Vice Captains, you can stand at ease.
Or a couple of you say, how lucky you are to have something so good that makes it so hard to say goodbye. Likewise. In your 10 or 12 years over here at Tunbridge High School, you have learned many lessons. Many lessons inside the classroom and outside the classroom. I'm not talking about who won the Battle of Plassey and what's the area of a trapezium or what a Porsche say to Shiloh. No, those are not the lessons I'm talking about. But lessons of life, lessons of discovery, lessons for you to know who and what you are. But perhaps the toughest lesson of all is your last lesson of today. In the course of these years, you've learned how to acquire things, how to gain things, how to gain knowledge, how to take opportunity, how to gain your own talents, improve your own skills, which will help you later in life to acquire things that you love and things that will help you through your careers. This lesson of today is not about acquiring, about gaining something, but about letting go. Letting go of something you love dearly. The mighty eagle that soars the highest in the sky was once a tiny hatchling, a fledgling with down feathers. And so were you when you walked into this, these gates for the first time. You were like little tiny eaglets, just about that high. Trying to spread your wings, your little wings, and flap them, and trying desperately to fly. In the course of these 12 years, you have learned to fly. You have shown, you have developed fine, colorful feathers that have helped you fly to your limits. But the mighty eagle, when it comes of age, it does one thing, and that is shed its feathers. When the feathers are shed, the new ones grow, and the new ones are longer and stronger. And with that, the eagle flies higher than it has ever flown before. You, my 62 eagles, have now shed your feathers that have helped you fly, but to their limits. And from this day onwards, when you step out of Tunbridge, and you enter a new life, you'll start growing fresh, strong feathers that will define the, the new eagles that you are. Sound of 10, fly high, goodbye. outgoing seniors. Today you will be taking home memories of the best times you have spent in Tunbridge. On this special day, I am indeed delighted to thank you all for everything on behalf of all the interim leaders and students of Standard 9. We thank you all for your support, encouragement, love and care. We assure you that we will carry forward all our responsibilities to the best of our abilities. We request you to please accept a small token of our gratitude.
be alert, be quick. To host the quiz, we have Aisha Khanam of Standard 10A. Good morning. Today's set of quiz questions are open to all. Which two new events was introduced as part of our literary competitions this year? I kindly request Standard 10 not to make noise. Say yes, Mikey. Yes, that's the correct answer. Taboo and Madat. Name the student who is first in the top 100 list in the Tunbridge Hall of Fame. Yes, Tahir. Yes, that's the correct answer. Faizi and Shezan. Which class won the Dramatics competition this year? Yes, that's the correct answer. Standard 7A. When is our headmaster's birthday? <laughs> Kindly raise your hand. <laughs> yes, that boy has an answer. Yes, that's the correct answer, 30th October. <laughs> who are the two alumni of our school who help in music competitions? Yes, Dhanushri. Yes, that's the correct answer, for Khan and Arun. Who was the chief guest at the annual Athletic Meet 2018? Yes, that's the correct answer, Mrs. Pramila Ayupa. In which year was our school established? Yes, that's Yes, that's the correct answer, 1966. On whose birthday was the new building inaugurated? Yes. Sorry, that's not the right answer. Yes? Yes, that's the correct answer. Adhir is answering James Dance Competition. Which competition was not held this year? Dance Competition. Yes, that's the correct answer. Dance Competition. Last question of all. Which teacher is celebrating her birthday today? program and assembly, but certainly not to the end of our memories. Vote of thanks by Peroni G. Reddy. Good morning, principal, ma'am, teachers, parents, and my lovely friends. Thank you for considering me to propose the vote of thanks on this very emotional day, our last school assembly. Every special moment comes to an end, and this occasion is not an exception. We part to rejoin the journey of life. Today we will take home the memories of the best times we have spent on the school campus. First and foremost, on behalf of the whole of Standard 10, I'd like to thank our principal, Tunbridge High School, Mr. Kim Noble, who has always portrayed the image of a highly disciplined personality, yet so kind and humble. Sir, we must acknowledge that we have learned the most important lessons of life from you. That is to be disciplined and self-restrained. These lessons of life we have learned from you would help us climb the ladders of success while being humble and modest at the same time. Thank you, sir. Special mention must be made of our, miss, of our beloved Mrs. Maureen Orja, ma'am, who has been an indispensable guide and mentor, carrying us through, the, through all the joys and sorrows that students normally go through. Thank you, ma'am. 
I thank our headmaster, Tunbridge High School, Mr. Ajoy Biswas, who has been a constant and, I must say, patient instructor, instructor in every field of our school journey. Thank you, sir. I thank our second parents, our patient, kind, committed and devoted teachers for their love, guiding us on the right path, disciplining us with love, teaching us humili humility and good manners, the importance to respect all, th that everyone deserves self-respect and dignity. Thank you, teachers. You have ruled us with a pretended severe exterior but a heart filled with love. Thank you. How can our school journey ever be completed without our exciting matches, our vigorous physical exercises and the strict commands meted out by none other than our physical director, Mr. Eric Paul? Thank you, sir. Our discipline and conduct speaks of your special training. No event is made possible without the presence and involvement and the expertise of our events manager, Ms. Anita Oja. Because without her, every event and every occasion would appear mundane and boring. Thank you, ma'am. I also thank our administrative staff, our maintenance staff and non-maintenance staff who have obliged us politely and with patience, never complaining of the workload. Thank you all. I now thank our juniors for their love and respect. I know we always, we will always cherish the memories we have created here over the years. The fun-filled lectures, the long chats in the canteen, and the fun-filled short trips. I conclude with these lines. We the class of Standard 10, Leave ourselves to your memory with love. We leave our thoughts, our laughter, our dreams to you whom we have treasured. We give you the memory of our time together, the tender love-filled moments, the successes we have shared, the times that brought us closer together, and all that we take with us is your love, and the memories all that we have shared. Thank you. Love you all. Stand up as our interim head boy will take his first command. School! Attention! School! National anthem! Begin! Shubha Ashish Maa 